So next up for repair is a Pioneer XCL5. Looks like it's um, not a real vintage unit. And don't be fooled, this here is not metal. It looks like it's uh, yep, plastic. That's what it is. Um, supposedly the CD does it work in his unit and I haven't worked on CD players in ages so this is gonna be fun but that's not gonna stop me and at least at least I'm gonna find out what's wrong with it let me plug this thing in comes up like that some kind of display it's pretty snazzy and uh, first thing I'm gonna do is make sure I don't have any um, these DC voltage at the loudspeaker outputs um, and then um, go from there because that would be bad for my loudspeakers I wouldn't want to uh, destroy them so let me check that so now we can do a little bit of testing here of course I got the voltmeter in the DP DC position and not getting anything which is pretty cool and let me try the other one okay same story let me hook up some loudspeakers next okay we got something coming out here which is pretty cool I got one loudspeaker hooked up but I assume the other one's okay too um, took me a little bit to figure it out I'm going to go ahead and open this thing up now. And to take off the cover here, I think I got to take off two screws right here and two screws right there. They're both Phillips heads. Yeah, and this is plastic too. What about this? That feels like plastic too. So we got them screws out, but it's not coming out. I think there's some like little clips up there. Hmm. Well, right about there. I think I got to push these back and then go from there. I don't know about getting a clip down. Is that the clip? Down over there maybe I can get a screwdriver in there if not I gotta take this piece off here which I really don't want to do so let me go I can't show this on camera I gotta shut this off so I got the little black cover off easy enough using a little using a little screwdriver I pushed these clips in I pushed one in at the same time I pulled on the plastic and that took it off now now I got this puzzle here to figure out I gotta take a minute to look at this. Okay, I got this off. I I, I couldn't show this on camera. Um, what I had to do is there's two clips down in here, and I couldn't really get to them. Then I thought about I opened the door, I powered it up, opened the door, and then that exposed. You could see the clips here, and then I used my hand to push the clips up, and then. The whole assembly started coming loose, of course, then I shut it. As soon as I got the, um, um, as soon as the tray came out, I, I shut everything. I just shut everything off and uh, started pulling this out. Here's the whole assembly. The top is still laying. That ribbon cable here is still attached. Yep, and down here is the optical pickup assembly here you can see the lens down here I just cleaned that right now it was all smudgy and I'm gonna go ahead and try everything now and see if it works so the lens is right here see that little shiny piece and what I did is I used a little bit of alcohol and put that on a q-tip here and then rub that on here not pressing this is pretty delicate you can only do it real lightly because this was smudged up and here's the test point 
see there's one pin right there and one pin right there and I just took a little basically a piece of wire this is all I could find right here I don't know if that can be seen um, held that unplugged it held that on there of course you got to be sure you don't short against any of these pins here while you're holding that plug it in and then remove this and that puts this thing into service mode and once I did that I hit this button right here I think once or twice and so once I was able to put it into the test mode this is what I got as a display as you can see it says here unit test so now I got my laser power meter out um, piece of equipment not often used I don't have a instruction manual for it but I think I pretty well um, I'm gonna know how to use this thing so what I'm gonna do is just lay the tip up over here I don't know if I can, actually can so kind of like there and now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the I'm still in test mode I'm gonna hit the play if I can't focus here and we'll see how much this laser is putting out okay I don't think I'm right let me it's hard to do this with the camera hit the button and then hold the uh, probe at the same time let me see if I can't do that okay I'm think I'm right over it try again hit the play there it goes now there's the output from the laser diode which is actually quite low it looks like it's uh, around let me do that again not even 0 0.05 milliwatts so in order for me to leave the test mode, I'm supposed to simply hit the stop, it just stops everything and then pull the plug. So I think this unit needs another laser uh, head. Now if I can get one for under 10 bucks and then I think I'll go, go ahead and go for it because this plastic pioneer unit here I guess from the 90s is not worth very much and the I think was only the laser head was only putting out like 0 0.05 milliwatts which is like really low I read a little bit on the internet and I would venture to say that what it's putting out is like not enough um, so I'm going to put this project on hold and if I get another um, laser head assembly I'm going to go ahead and make a part two of this video. If not I'm going to go ahead and uh, shelf the unit maybe um, use it as a parts donor if I run across another unit. So um, I don't know. I guess that's it for now.